Please call the roll. Alderman Sancy. Here. Alderman Gleb. Here. Alderman McClatchy. Here. Alderman Bassey. Here. Alderman Schock. Here. Alderman Cook. Here. Alderman Miller is absent. Thank you. Please stand for the pledge. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Uh, any public comment this evening? Yeah. See none. Uh, item 5A through 5J. I am pulling on items uh, 5B, D, and E by uh, certain council members. Uh, is there any items that would, uh, other items that uh, council would like to pull? All right. I'm looking for approval for 5A, C, and F through J. Looking for a motion to approve. Alderman Santi. I'll make that motion. Thank you. Alderman McClatchy. I'll second, second it. Thank you. Uh, questions, comments regarding these items? Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman Santee? Yes. Alderman McClatchy? Yes. Alderman Glab? Yes. Alderman Bassey? Yes. Alderman Strack? Yes. Alderman Cook? Yes. Thank you, Council. Next item on the agenda was 5B is pulled by Alderman McClatchy, ratification of the appointment of Steve Wirch to the position of Director of Public Works retroactive of Monday uh, to Monday, September 11, 2023. Thank you, Mayor. Yeah, I believe it's not for any um, negative reason, but the fact that it's probably one of our most important decisions we're gonna make. And I wanna congratulate Steve Wirch for our next Director of Public Works. And I'll make a motion to approve it. Thank you. Can I have a second? Alderman Glenn? Second. Thank you. Um, public comment? John Schmidt? John, just hit that middle button on that thing when you get up there. We got a little fancy since you're there. there you go. Oh, wow. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> so for those of you who don't know me, I'm John Schmidt. Um, I retired in 2019 from the city of Kennedy after 35 years. The last 10 years, I worked as public works director here. Um, I'm here tonight because you guys made the right choice. Um, I couldn't think of anybody more deserving than Steve for this position. Um, Steve, I don't know what year you started with up with me as summer help. 1994. 1994. <laughs> and I think before that, I think Bill has some pictures of him in the, one of the parks program is one of the leaders. <laughs> 1991. And uh, I just want you to know, um, Steve was my go-to guy. Um, whenever I had a project, it didn't matter if it was um, in Steve's division or, or whatever. Um, I would give Steve the project. I never had to follow up. It was done. Um, I never had to hound him or anything, and it was always done 100% correctly as I would have done. And like I say, you know, congratulations. You just, you couldn't have picked a better public works director. Thank you. Thank you. All right, any questions, comments? From the council? See none? Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman Lashie? Yes. Alderman Glenn? Yes. Alderman Sandy? Yes. Alderman Bassey? Yes. Alderman Strack? Yes. Alderman Cook? Yes. Thank you, council. Congratulations. 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 Thank you. Uh, next item is 5D, was pulled by Alderman Glab as a joint funding agreement for construction work and local public agency engineering services agreement and authorize the mayor to sign in uh, the agreements with any future revisions as requested by IDOT and pass a resolution appropriating $85,163 for the city's matching local fund requirements. Alderman Glenn? Yeah, I, I think uh, to some extent uh, when this was put together, something got mixed, missed, but uh, uh, there should be a 10% contingency on the $85,163 and uh, you know, before it comes shoots back to council, if it's more than that, uh, with IDOT uh, lately, you never know. So uh, that's all I'm requesting uh, for that. And uh, actually, if you look at the motion, uh, there was never anything even put in there as far as uh, with the mayor, you know, to be able to uh, approve anything more than. So I would like to make a motion uh, 
as far as uh, to approve the joint funding agreement for construction work, work and local book agency engineering services agreement and authorize the mayor to sign the agreement with the future revision as requested by IDOT to pass a resolution, a resolution approve, appropriating the 80163 for the city's matching uh, local fund requirement with the caveat that the uh, mayor uh, um, is authorized to approve up to 10 percent uh, uh, of any future revisions as requested by IDOT. Otherwise, it comes back to the council. Thank you. <coughs> Appreciate that. Second. Alderman Cook. I'll second the motion. Thank you. Questions, comments by council? Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman Santee? Yes. I'm sorry. That should have been Alderman Glab, right? Yes. Sorry. Alderman Glab? Yes. Alderman Santee? Yes. Alderman Clatchy? Yes. Alderman Bassey? Yes. Alderman Strack? Yes. Alderman Cook? Yes. Thank you, council. Next item that was pulled um, by our attorney is <laughs> 5E. It's a contract purchase order to, uh, to Water Well Res uh, Solutions, Illinois Division, LLC of Auburn, Illinois, in the amount of $54,040.50 for the Water Well Number 7 Pump and Come uh, Pipe Replacement and Aquifer Rehabilitation Project. So, um, so, um, <laughs> Uh, as you can see, uh, Alderman Santee walked out of the room. He's no longer here. And uh, he has disclosed to me, maybe to others, that he has a conflict of interest, what I would refer to as a common law conflict of interest, based on the job that he has. Apparently, his employer does some work with water, the company that we're proposing to enter into an agreement with. And we discussed it to some extent, and he felt it was... Um, something he should abstain from and I, as we talked about it he felt even more concerned so I said why don't you step out that way your abstention won't be counted with a positive or a negative and he'll be counted as an um, as absent so that would be the most conservative thing he can do and that's the reason it was pulled from the agenda otherwise there's no discussion thank you Alderman Strack I'd like to make the motion as presented thank you second Alderman Glenn Second. Thank you. Discussion by City Council. Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman Strack? Yes. Alderman Glenn? Yes. Alderman McClatchy? Yes. Alderman Bassey? Yes. Alderman Cook? Yes. Alderman Miller? Yes. All absent. I'm sorry, I'm having a bad date. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Council. Uh, next item on the agenda is 6A is a redevelopment agreement between the City of McHenry and Delights Enterprises, LLC, for the property located at 3319 West Elm Street. Per previous council authorization, a motion to pass an ordinance and authorization for the mayor to execute a redevelopment agreement between the City of McHenry and Delights Enterprises, LLC, for the property located at 3319 West Elm Street. Director Martin, floor is yours. Thank you, Mayor Jett. The City Council considered and approved the vacant building incentive program request for the property at 3319 West Elm Street. Um, I attached the minutes, um, but it was determined since the property was in the oh. city's TIF district, a uh, redevelopment agreement was more appropriate. A redevelopment agreement is attached and includes reimbursement to the property owner from the increment gen generated since the 2022 tax bill for the next five years, capped at $50,000. However, the total increment proje projected is to be generated approximately between $2,500 and $5,000 during that time period. Um, the redevelopment project cost must be submitted to the city for reimbursement um, before any cost will be reimbursed. And an ordinance is attached to the redevelopment agreement for uh, a consideration if the council concurs with staff analysis. It's recommended to approve the attached ordinance authorizing the execution of redevelopment agreement with Delights Enterprises LLC and the city of McHenry for the property located at 3319 Well Street. Thank you, Don. Looking for a motion to approve today as presented. Hold on. Yeah, I'll make the motion uh, as presented. Thank you. All the members. I'll second that. Thank you. Question by City Council. Questions, comments. Any public comment reading this item? Young clerk, please call the roll. Alderman Glenn. Yes. <laughs> Alderman Glenn. Yes. Alderman McClatchy. 
Yes. Alderman Santee? Yes. Alderman Bassey? Yes. Alderman Schrack? Yes. Alderman Cook? Yes. Thank you, Council. Uh, the next item, 6B and C, um, go ahead. Yeah, I'd like to do this in combination with the Chief of Police. So you two are here for Windhill, Windhill right? And you're the buyers? Yeah. Okay. So we just talked to your attorney a few minutes ago, and I talked to him earlier today. Did you talk to him a few minutes ago? Yeah. Are you good with the concept of continuing this? And Tom's still going to maintain his ownership until you close, which is sometime in the future. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So for the city council's uh, benefit, it, it's on the end to transfer a certain license from Windhill Inc. to Four Eggs LLC. Uh, there might be a change in that motion to perhaps the, the buyers will keep the stock of Windhill and the name of Windhill and the licensing of Windhill both for the liquor license and for future game because it might simplify the gaming process. The gaming licensing process is delayed substantially if you change um, entities. It's, it's quicker if you maintain the existing entity and change the ownership. So that's for them to work out with the state and so forth. So the motions are a little mixed up and they're, the paperwork they submitted to Monty is, is May, may may not be accurate because it was filed in the name of four eggs and that may not be the case any longer so they'd like to have a chance to relook at that filing and then we'll bring it back on October 3rd and you have anything else to add? Did I stumble over that? Okay. Okay. Right. Motion to motion postpone to these, both of these okay. items. Okay. All right, I'm looking for a motion. Can we do them together? Is that all right? Together. Look for a motion to postpone 6B and 6C. All in track. So moved. Alderman Bassey. Okay. Thank you. Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman Strack. Yes. Alderman Bassey. Yes. Alderman Santi. Yes. Alderman Glad. Yes. Alderman McClack. Yes. Alderman Cook. Yes. Thank you, Council. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll see you at the next meeting. meeting. Yep. Thank you, guys. Uh, staff reports, anything? Bill? Bill? <laughs> <laughs> uh, again, I just uh, I want to thank you all for being there on Saturday night and just what a great for our community was and how much it meant, I think, for all of you to be there. Uh, it was just a, a great night. Um, I mean, there's a couple little things that we still have to tie up down there, so it's not 100% complete. Um, but in, in effect, you saw what the ability of that park uh, can be and will be. So thank you very much for, for that and uh, for being there. Yeah, Mayor, thank you. Go ahead. Yeah, I just, <clears throat> I'm sure you've been patted on the back a million times since Saturday night, but can't go far enough. You did a good job. I mean, I was there till the fireworks. Thank God the rain stopped or didn't come until the end, but uh, what a great feeling. I mean, families, everybody just having a good time. And it was packed and it was run really well and the chief your officers did great that's it you don't want to say anything about the splash pad yeah the splash pad was awesome i mean i love that thing the kids loved it they splashed in it and i can't wait till next year <laughs> he comes up to me he's like i just gotta say good choice on the splash pad I'm like okay you don't have to wait till next year it's on it's on every day <laughs> every day until nine on i'll yeah. be glad go ahead yeah, yeah. um a lot of accolades that were given to a lot of people um, as far as how everything has gone to fruition as far as the uh, uh, river, the river walk and everything else and uh, everybody that was given credit except for one main person and that was Pam Altoff because Pam Altoff was the one that originally started uh, getting a hold of uh, Kit Carson's and and getting the ball rolling on this whole thing in the first place that and the tip and uh, it was said that uh, her name wasn't mentioned that night, but I wanted to make sure tonight that we may have mentioned it, the fact that Pam Altoff was the one that uh, originally was the impetus to get this thing started in the first place. Yes. Agreed. Any other questions, comments regarding that event? Um, great job, though. And, you know, everyone involved, it was, it was phenomenal. So uh, uh, city council comments? See none? I'm looking for a motion to adjourn. Alderman Strack? 
So moved. Alderman Bassey? Second. Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman Strack? Yes. Alderman Bassey? Yes. Alderman Cook? Yes. Alderman Santee? Yes. Alderman Glass? I'm sorry, I'm going to pass on that because uh, I did have one more item before we adjourned and uh, are you trying to make to your time up. win here or something? Yeah. <laughs> Who's got the over under? Yeah. All right. Let's go back to city council comments. Is that, can we do that? Mm -hmm. yeah. If it could be pulled uh, as far as the motion for the time being or whatever, however you got to do it. It's I'll fine. withdraw my motion. Frozen. Okay. Frozen. I'll withdraw my second. Thank you. All right. Thank All right. you. The thing I wanted to bring up was is, uh, a couple of weeks, uh, a couple of meetings ago, I brought up the mass barn. Um, and I was asking for a discussion at city council be uh, put on a, on a future agenda item and I was just kind of wondering where we were at. Uh, is there any way to maybe possibly get it at uh, the October 2nd meeting? Uh, I I know we uh, got a rise out of the uh, people that are leasing uh, the barn and I'm not talking about making a move immediately but I think we need to talk about it for the future and uh, where we want to go down the road. And, uh, uh, those that are leasing it right now might be the perfect uh, persons to work with the city down in the future uh, if we decide, you know, what we do, ever we decide to do. But uh, it is a it is a um, um, a public uh, facility that was obtained by uh, grant monies, and within the grant monies, there was also uh, caveats to the fact that it had to be open to the public and that means it has to be open to the public all the time and that uh, you know can applaud the fact that they do uh, you know different things for the public uh, and open it up here and there but it it technically was supposed to be open for the public uh, and I don't think they meant just part-time so we need to look at that and uh, we need to look at the history we also need to look at um, as far as what the cost you know, if we look at the, let's say even the last three years of what the cost for the barn is versus what we're getting for the lease and, uh, and uh, you know, be honest with you, I haven't been in that barn in uh, probably, what, 22, 23 years inside. I don't know if any council member has. And I think uh, to some extent uh, we should be able to, whether it's pictures that we get or whatever, uh, let's see what we have to, you know, to contend with. And uh, uh, in discussions, I would hope that we would come up with some ideas of where we could be in the future with this facility, that we could open it up totally to the public or at least part of the barn to the public. So um, leave that open to uh, other comments from other people. I, I got a couple of things um, to respond to that. It's on my list, Alderman Glad, so I didn't forget, forget it. It's on my list of discussion items, so you know. So how long does the lease go that we have in place out there now? Uh, current lease is five years. All right. Um, I just want, I, I, didn't, I didn't know because I've forgotten, so I just wanted to ask the question so that I knew what the answer was. Um, the, to the council, as it always is, the next three meetings we have discussion items that we're planning already. So we have uh, this, uh, social district that I think uh, we've had some discussions with you about already, the Cold, String, Cold Springs Park. Uh, will be on the 18th, and then the community investment plan presentation is going to be on November 4th. So if council wants more than one discussion item on one of those, we can do it. Just know that it's going to it's going to take a while to get through those discussion items, or we push it to the November 15th meeting or whatever that meeting in November 18th. And if you want to schedule it for that night, we can schedule. I mean, I'll just put it down as a date for that night if that's what council wants to do. Mayor. I wouldn't have any problem with the 15. I, as long as we know that it's down yeah, the road, no, we, we've, you know, we've had something specific or yeah, we're, we've had we discussions discuss about it. it. We're just and we want to give you know Director Hobson uh, all the time uh, to get any information uh, one way or the other. You know that would help us make any kind of decisions for the future. Correct. It's, a, it's actually November 20th. My mistake. That's the second meeting in November, so the 20th. Okay. So we'll go ahead and make that a discussion on November 20th then. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. All right. Motion. Alder and Strack. <laughs> so moved. Second. Second. Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman Strack. Yes. Alderman Bassey. Yes. Alderman McClatchy. Splash pad. Yes. <laughs> Alderman Glam. 
Yes. Alderman Sandy. Yes. Alderman Cook. Yes. Thank you, Council. Thank you, staff. Have a good evening.